Hi boys and girls, welcome to back to Science at Bedtime. Today we have Raspberry and Strawberry with us. Hi, hi boys and girls! Hello! So I understand you have a question for me today about science. Where are we you? My, my mom was saying I'm a black bear, but Raspberry is a black bear. I'm a white bear. Um, so my science question is, where and when are black bears white? Well, Strawberry, that's a great question. Let's take it in two parts. The first part was where black bears are white. Let's look at my big map here. And as you can see, <laughs> the red is where black bears uh, live, and the, and the green part is where Cremody bears live. That's a big difference. That's a real big difference. That's, that is. Jody. If my habitat and raspberry's habitat are so different, uh, does that mean that I'm not a black bear? No, Strawberry. Actually, what that means is that you're a special kind of black bear called a Cremody bear. Ooh, Cremody bear? What does that mean? Well, that means that Strawberry and all Cremody bears have a little change in their genetics. Let's look at the gummy board. So as we all know, DNA is made up of four different nucleic acids. We're using green for thymine, orange for adenine, yellow for guanine, and white for cytosine. The difference between strawberry and raspberry is that one of strawberry's guanines decided to switch itself with an adenine, which means that its fur doesn't get color. That's pretty cool! Is that the same thing that happened to Gooseberry? Hey guys. No, what happened to gooseberry is similar to what happens in cordyism, but it's actually very different. Um, albinism happens in a lot of animals, and cremody happens only in bears. Dang it! No one's ever like me! Actually, albinism is fairly common across some species. It's okay, gooseberry. You'll make a friend one day. <laughs> Whatever! Hmm. Not with that attitude, you You're right, he was pretty gloomy. Was that all the questions you had about cremodyism? I think that pretty much covers like where and why it happens, but I'm still not really clear on whether or not I'm a black bear. Well, maybe if we learn a little more about black bears, you can feel like you belong. What do you think, boys and girls? Will that work? Great, let's try it. So, all black bears have certain characteristics. Can you think of any? Well, in the winter I get really tired. That's a great one, Raspberry. What you're thinking about is hibernation. Initially, scientists didn't believe that black bears were deep hibernators, but later discovered that they could lower their metabolic rate to a point where they could sleep for three to five months. I'm sure you get tired like that too. Sure do, Jody. And when I wake up, I'm really, really hungry. Me too. Do all bears eat the same stuff, Jody? They sure do, though it tends to vary for by season. Um, right now, black bears will be looking for winter kill and baby deer. Later, they'll eat more fruit and nuts. I know, I've been getting really hungry for baby deer recently. Mm -hmm. Me too. Hey, Geraldine, you haven't mentioned my favorite foods yet. Is it just cremody bears that like honey and insects? Nope, not at all. Insects are a large food source for most bears. And some black bears will get so enthusiastic about honey that they'll claw through entire trees to get to the beehives. Mmm. Honey. Mm. honey! Speaking of beehives, are me and strawberry the same in terms of, you know, the bears and the bees? Um, short answer, yes. Black bears are reproductively compatible with a couple different species of bears, though the fertility and viability of their offspring is hard to tell. See, Jody, while we're talking about the birds and the bees, I was wondering, I sometimes get funny feelings about lots of different kinds of black bears. Do all black bears get that? Or is it just us bear puppets? That's all black bears, Strawberry. Boy bears, girl bears, and bear puppets um, <laughs> are all promiscuous, which means they will mate with multiple partners. Sometimes dominant males do get territorial, though. See, I also don't know about this Kermode bears and black black bears mating thing. I always thought that white bears were much cuter. I always thought the black bears were cuter. Me and Uncle Bear have a day later. How you do? Hi, Uncle Bear. That's true. Cremody bears tend to try to mate with other Cremody bears, and black bears tend to try to mate with other black bears. 
Sometimes two black bears can have a white cub, though. This is called assortative mating. What? How does that work? Well, let's check out our Punnett square. White gummy bears are the gene for chromodiasm, and red gummy bears are the gene for black fur. Let's say mom and dad are both heterozygotic. Each offspring gets one type of allele from their mother and one from their father. If they're both are different, then they will be black. If they're both red, they will also be black. The only way to get a Komodi bear is if they have two white alleles. Cool. I'd still rather have black fur. Well, I'd rather have white fur. It's better. No. uh Yeah, huh? Jardine, is it better to have black fur or white fur? Well, it depends on what you're trying to do. See, white bears are better at fishing during the day, and black bears are better at fishing at night. Why? Well, let's look at it the fishy's perspective. During the day, it's so light that it's hard for the fish to see a white bear coming. And pretty easy to see the black bear coming. And at night, it's the opposite. That's really cool, Jeldine. I sure thought so. Jeldine, I have two more questions. All right, <laughs> all right, Strawberry, go ahead. What species provincial bird? The blue jay. Where are you going with this? And what species provincial mammal? The Kermode bear. Shocker! Aww. All right. Good night, boys and girls.